What's the biggest difference between you now and 10 years ago? I'm no longer trying to please people by being like them. I'm finally setting boundaries and pursuing my own passions, meeting new people and enjoying life as it's found. I'm far more sure of who I am nowadays. I don't get crippling social anxiety like I used to back then. I had cancer 10 years ago. Cancer free now. I learned how to speak English. I weigh one third what I weighed back then. 585 pounds down to 196 now. Before after photos in healthy eating now Reddit. I'm six years sober. 10 years ago I was a mess. I now breathe with someone else's lungs. 10 years ago, I had a brain tumor in my head that I was going through chemo for. Now I'm 10 years cancer free. Well, I'm not in a cult now, so that's pretty different. ETA I was not born into it, my parents aren't religious. I joined as a troubled teen, like many of my fellow survivors. Left as an adult after having children and realizing how screwed up it all was. Graduated college, lost 120 pounds gained 65 back, quit smoking, got married and had two kids, bought a house. I also have my driver's license and no longer work two jobs. I am taking my mental health seriously, not drinking nearly as much. I have never really taken inventory of the developments in the past 10 years, I always think it's never enough. And I think I might be wrong in that. Thank you for prompting this. So many wonderful things have happened that I have lost sight of. I went above and beyond for my job, trying to please bosses, whose attitude was always what have you done for me lately? Not anymore. I regret not spending more time with my parents when they were in better health because of this. Now, I have a job but I simply refuse to kill myself for it. I still stay engaged, and I communicate at work regularly and meet immediate deadlines, but I have no trust left in corporate America. I had boobs. I had breast cancer 8 years ago and had a double mastectomy and opted not to get reconstruction. I didn't need the hassle of added surgery for something that was purely cosmetic. I miss them, but anything that tries to kill me will be cut out of my life, so. Two of my older brothers died. Three friends off themselves. I developed a drinking problem which I'm now working on. I gained 50 pounds which I'm working on too. I'm definitely kinder and more thoughtful. I don't fight small battles, I walk away with them getting in their little hits. My disgust and contempt for failed and broken men change to mostly an empathy and compassion. If nothing else I get them now. I lost the hair on my head and gained hair everywhere else, which is some serious bullshit. No longer a meth junkie and I live 4000 kilometers further. Four years sober woohoo. I thought I'd find the happily ever after turns out I've been slowly losing faith. There's a quote from HMYM that sums up my current situation to a T from 7x01. Start believing in chemistry if you have chemistry you only need one other thing, timing. But timing's a bitch. 10 years ago I was diagnosed with severe anxiety and depression, couldn't go out on my own, and had to drop out of college after only attending for a week. Now, I'm on a medication that works, regularly go out and interact with people, strangers included, and I am back at the same college but as a trainee counselor. 10 years can do a lot. Less hair but 45 pounds lighter and even ran 410 Burmese Kiats. I used to care too much about what other people thought of me, now I don't. Everything hurts more. I wasn't a father widower 10 years ago. I'm a lot more untrusting of people. 10 years ago I was happier and more optimistic. The longer you're alive the more people you will lose. My boobs are bigger now. I'm an ex-wife. I went from 270 down to 220 pounds and still going. 
In fat now grinning face went from 145 to 187. A lot more politically cynical. Instead of a six pack, I have a gut. I'm out of the closet and hopefully a less shitty person. Had five kids, a shitty marriage that I loved. Enough money, a house, stay at home mother, friends, and family support. I'm 10 years I had baby six, developed a crippling addiction, lost everything I ever cared about and anyone who I thought had my back. Went to hell and stayed there for a bit. Clawed my way out of the shadows, worked on myself, and got sober after rounds of rehab and blood, sweat, and tears. I can't tell you if it's better now or not but I have genuine joy and genuine pain. I can see a better future and no longer with an abuser. Okay. Sober. Fatter. Lots more pain. Happier, but still unsatisfied with my life. Ten years ago I had not yet been diagnosed with any chronic conditions, nor had I ever been hospitalized. Ten years ago I was a barista. Now I'm a coffee shop owner. I didn't change much but the world sure did. Ten years ago I was reading about kids with autism and ADHD I did not have the self-awareness that I too am one of I do. Ten years ago, I was locked in my bedroom from the outside by my father every day for months while he, his wife and her children would leave the house to IDK, live. And he would turn off the electricity and water and I shut in bags and peed in bottles and they'd all laugh at me upon return. Only knew him for a couple of months. Now, I reside in my home as much as I can only leaving for when I need to be in office, though I work remotely 95 of the time. I dread that 5. No longer depressed and scared of the world, and I have a better understanding of who I am as a person. I was happy. I don't cut myself anymore. Letting a guy use me just for him to not leave me so I can have a boyfriend then. Having some self-respect now. I have three kids and I feel old now. Ten years ago I believed people still. Everyone said 10-20 years ago go to college. You will get a career, nice house, be able to get a nice car and make something of yourself. Well now everyone is changing their tune because they see those folks struggling but don't want to help them. See student loan forgiveness. Society is a bunch of liars with the fuck you, I got mine mindset. 1. I am far more patient. 2. I am far more chill and stoic. 3. Multiple graduate degrees. 4. A really cool career instead of a boring job. 5. More student loan debt. 6. More general debts. 7. More income. 8. I have a son he is awesome by the way. Not at all lame. 9. I have a home of my own. 10. I have fewer health problems, but have certainly gained more weight. I need to start working out. After my divorce 11 years ago, I got fired and was 3 weeks from being homeless. Got a new job, a crappy apartment, been in a relationship for 9, married for 3 of those 9 years. Got my MBA. Gained 40 pounds despite being way more active in sports. Quit drinking. Bought my house and refinanced it 5 years later 1.86 April on track to retire comfortably at 65. I'm a hell of a lot smarter. I'm still dumb as fuck but I was even dumber back then. I was 12 and didn't care about anything. I had more determination back then. I don't know where all the ambition and confidence went. Ten years ago my life was uncertain. Single and in early years of my career with no target future in mind. I'm now happily married with kids, living in an area I like which I would have not dreamed of ten years ago and travel frequently for leisure. If you tell the me ten years younger this will be the life I'll be living in ten years time, I'll call it BS. So I guess for everyone who is feeling uncertain about your life now, don't give up. Your best is yet.